This is Jack from BCO Farm, and this is a part two video about my test fill of the pond. It has been about three hours and five minutes since I started filling it, and we've reached full. As you can see over here, the water is right at the overflow pipe and down at the swale. Water has just begun to flow out the end into the swale. So, I can now determine what my full level, steady state pond level is going to be. So over here, I've dug a connecting swale, just a short ditch, which when the, pool, when the pond is full, this swale should stay full of water like that. And next I'll have to actually dig the spillway on it so that at this level, maybe just a little above, water will overflow and then start flowing downhill towards the, the lower swale. And the other part, the other adjustment I've got to make is you can see over here where the water level on the high side of the pond edge is, and that slope is too steep. So what we want is a really shallow slope to the to the edge which will help promote plants and, and frogs and things to want to be around the edge and so I'm going to have to start removing material and making that a more gradual slope uh, which will mean taking material off on the uphill side so that part will take a while so it'll be be quite a while before I'll be able to to show the finished product but for now it looks pretty good the fill time was three hours five minutes at the flow rate I calculated earlier of about 8.33 gallons per minute I came up with around 1540 gallons of water which is that's not too bad I wouldn't mind it being a larger but 1500 gallons isn't bad that's enough to put some fish in it as long as I can keep it uh, pretty close to full year round and I'm probably just going to put some goldfish in it this winter and see how they do uh, I already have some goldfish in our aquaponic system that have gotten pretty big so when I shut that down I'll just transfer them over to the pond so there'll be more to come later more updates but for now this is Jack from BCO Farm.